Don't do these five things with your money. It doesn't matter how much money you make. You could be making a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, half a million dollars a year. But if you spend every dollar that you make, you have the cash flow pattern of a poor person. If you spend like a poor person, you will always remain like a poor person. Today, I'm going to teach you five things that you don't want to do with. Your money. Remember, it's not just how much money you make; it's how much money you keep. The first thing you don't want to do with your money is to gamble it away or buy lottery tickets. You see, how do you think those casinos in Vegas? They have these beautiful hotels, right? They make money from gamblers just like you. Lotteries are for suckers. People who buy lottery tickets, they believe that they need luck to become wealthy, to become rich, which is not true. Do you know the chances of you winning a lottery in a single state? It is as high as 18 million to one. In multiple states, sometimes it's 120 million to one. That is your chance of winning. So you tell me the odds. And more importantly, when you are gambling. When you're buying lottery ticket, what are you telling to yourself? What you're telling to your mind is this: the only way I'll become wealthy or financially successful is that through the luck of draw. It is simply not true. So don't gamble with your money and do not buy the lottery tickets. Hey, what are you guys doing? Stop it! Give me that. Give me all that money. Give me that money. Got to learn your lesson. Now get back to work. Second thing you don't want to do with your money is to buy things that you don't like. Don't get me wrong, I like nice things, but I buy them because I like them. I enjoy owning them or having them. I get pleasure out of it. But most people they spend money that they don't have to buy things that they can't afford to impress people that they don't even like. Why? Because of low self-esteem. They need validation. They need approval. Versus buying what they enjoy. Buy what you enjoy. Don't do it for other people. Do it for yourself. As Jay Z said, if you can't afford to buy it twice, you can't afford it. Hey man, you know, I look good, man. I look good. I may be broke, but I look good. You know what's not cool? Being broke. You know what's cool? The third things that you don't want to spend your money on is things that would rot your brain and rot your health. I'm talking about cigarettes. I'm talking about alcohol. I'm talking about drugs. Don't drink. Don't take drugs. Don't smoke because of social pressure. Because it's cool. Because your friends do it. Because they think that you should do it. No, you got to keep your brain sharp if you want to be successful. You don't need to have a drink to have a good time. You can just have a good time. Get high on life. Don't get high on drugs. Don't get high on alcohol. What the fuck are you guys doing? Read my book. Give me those. All right, Blake. Like, all you just gotta do, you gotta follow the Elliott wave, man. Elliott wave. Like, you just follow the Bollinger bands, and then the moving average. We do wave one and two and three. Just print 5k. We hold and we moon in two days, and we're gonna double your money, man. Got it? Got it. All right, let's do this. All right, just put it right there. The fourth thing that you don't want to do with your money is to invest something you don't understand. Don't invest because your friend tells you so, or some salesperson, some broker tells you to invest. You know why they call a broker? Because they broker than you are, right? Don't invest because you saw someone making a bunch of money. You are driven by greed. Only invest in what you can understand, what you know. You got to study, investigate before you invest. Uh, what happened to all my money, man? Oh my god! The fifth thing that you don't want to do with your money is don't loan money to friends. I've had this happen multiple times. There's a reason if someone's struggling with money, it's not the first time they have money problems. Chances are they always have. Money problems because of the habits that they have or bad decisions that they make. Now there's a difference. If it's an emergency and you're helping them out, then don't expect to get the money back. The problem is when you loan money to your friend, and I've had this happen to me. When you loan money to your friends and they cannot pay you back, there's a lot of guilt. The guilt kicks in, and then what happens? You lose your money and you lose 
a friend. A much better way to do this if your friend needs help, help him solve the problems. If he has addiction problems, he has a gambling problem, solve the problem from its core, right? If you know what, your friends need help and if you are able to help and you are financially able, then just give them the money but don't expect to get it back. You see, the best thing that you can do with money is to invest it in yourself. No one can take that away from you.